hello guys welcome to the session in this session i am going to teach you about the tomcat uh, deployments means how can we deploy tomcat how can we deploy the jar var files to the tomcat through the gui method so before we are going to topic please subscribe my tech form channel if you are already subscribed enable the bell icon for new videos purpose and as well as subscribe my technical data channel it is telugu devops course telugu uh, it's for telugu videos telugu devops videos purpose i created this channel so let's get back to our topic so in our topic i am going to show you about how can we deploy a var file to the tomcat in a gui mode so in a gui mode how can we deploy so till point of you understand what is tomcat what tomcat can do and why we need this tomcat so how how to what purpose we are using this application server so if you go to that uh, application um, tomcat manager with the tomcat manager user so if you scroll down here if you observe here deploy part is there so in the deploy part deploy directory or var file located on server so there are two type of, uh, in the gui mode there are two types of deployments are there one is server based another one is client based so server means you have to uh, store your uh, var file into the this uh, in the tomcat server itself if you need to deploy from the client side means from your windows machine you can deploy from here so for now i am trying to, i'm going uh, i'm going to give you from the uh, client side sorry not um, not client side i'm uh, server side so i have a git bucket dart var file here. so i'm going to uh, i'm going to deploy that git bucket dart var file so i can specify that var file so and if you have the, and i need to i need a path of that var file so what is the path map the var file is root so in the root itself i have a file called git bucket dart var file so dot root slash git bucket dot var file this file i'm going to upload so deploy so if i deploy so it will create a name slash git bucket inside the web apps folder and it will show here after it will deploying uh, we can we are able to see the git bucket here itself and so if you observe here the git bucket is there so so once uh, you are deployed git bucket is going to be started automatically so let's check yeah if you observe git bucket is automatically loaded so you need to log into the machine so if you observe whatever so this is the ui page of the git bucket it's open source if you need you can download from the github really the github account from there so like this we are going to deploy from the gui way and another thing is from deployment is from the client side so if i need to stop the stop i need to reload reload and deployment and the file so i can so where this file is going to be stored means so i already uh, told you about that uh, that so here my all files are there so we'll go to the apps folder so if you observe git bucket that var is there i'm going to upload here so once i place the var file from that uh, uh, if i specify the var file from where if i place the var file automatically here it will extract it to the its directory and if you observe that these are the base path of all those things what are the files we have inside that var it will Get it directly and extracted here itself. So if I need to undeploy, it's automatically undeploy itself. If you observe, there is no so something is. I removed another thing actually. So yeah, okay, I don't wanna. So if uh, it's automatically undeployed. So if you observe here. Uh, tomcat has automatically means not git bucket has been removed here otherwise if you need to deploy from the client side from your windows side you can browse here from here you can browse you can specify that var file you can deploy it it will show here like this here only so like this we are going to deploy from the gui side so this is guys this means how can we deploy the into a tomcat from the so direct deployment is nothing but so right now if you observe in the web apps so that web apps folder is a document directory so it does not have any content means uh, our any var file is there so to directly deploying 
uh, any application to the uh, Tomcat. So let's uh, how can we copy means here I have git bucket that var file is there so I can simply copy this git bucket that var into that uh, what the home document or directory of that is Apache. So web apps folder. So if you go to there. Apache Tomcat and the apps folder. So, so if you observe, once I place the git bucket that var, it automatically creates that a git bucket. So let's check the GUI. So if it's just refresh the browser. Sometimes you are not able to see the git bucket once you are copying. So for that you need to restart the server, Tomcat server. Simply shut down data search and start the data search. So check the git bucket. So like this, we are going to deploy in a direct way. So it means if we are in something, if you need to deploy from the uh, some uh, any server to any server instead of that GUI, you can uh, use this uh, this method also. So it will helpful for you to deploy. So this is all comes under the manual deployments. So so to make automatic these deployments, we will use Jenkins. So for that, uh, we are using one user is called Tomcat scripts. So with that script, the user, you can simply deploy that uh, wire file from wherever build, the build is generating the Jenkins itself. So from the Jenkins itself, you can automatically deploy into that Tomcat. So that is comes under the CD part, continuous delivery or continuous deployment part. So this is, uh, and uh, yeah, all these are the main things of the deployments. Mm what tomcat will hold so if you can if uh, and, uh, i already told you about that these are all the home path of all those things so you have to understand each and everything and don't worry about much thing about this if you need any change any configuration or go to the console and change the required details so this is about the tomcat guys in the process system and the uh, deep down about the deployment comes in the uh, to the Jenkins level, I'm gonna teach you how can we deploy a medical Tomcat. So this is it, right? So please, uh, thank you. So thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my Tech Form channel. If you are not subscribed, enable the bell icon for new videos purpose. And as well as subscribe my Telugu channel, Telugu Tech Technical Adda. So this is for DevOps also in Telugu. So this is it, guys. Thank you.